believe so. I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact and get in there. If Albion know that Angel is dead sick, they won't be gentle. summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. With no official paperwork, I hope. I don't want anything traced back to me. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while, like now. Any government that condones this should be torn down. Bastards. A body could get lost in this system and no one would ever know. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Mary fucking Kelly. What the hell does she and a gang of thugs have to do with this? Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
surroundings. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording label, Someone Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. I think you were picked up on some random sweep. Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking dogs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Oh, Lord, Bagley, shut it. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Brilliant work.
Alright, now go spy on the bad guys. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Little bit of deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just get the arrow here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? Bastards implanted something in him. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. I don't care what grade, it's in his neck. Are they tracking him? Monitoring him or what? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Let's go! He must have gotten away! Fucker! Get it! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. I wasn't expecting that. He just... Oh, that microchip must do more than just track. Somehow it activated. Angel might be alive, though. But if the fuck Mary Coley's up to, he might still be alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner.
So, this is where those Clan Kelly boys brought Angel. Ugh, not exactly postcard material, is it? Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. I'll keep searching. the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's what we'll do then. Technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Oh, brilliant.
not gonna cut you. We need to talk. Well, get over here. Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Fuck, how are you feeling? This guy was about to turn you into Christmas stuff in. He was, I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hold on, I know you. Caitlin Lau, police inspector. We saw your video logs. I knew you'd be going after Mary Kelly on your own, but I didn't expect to meet you here. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are you? You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. No, sorry. One of our friends disappeared from the EPC. His trail led me here. Hard to believe the missing people ended up here. There's probably little left of them at this point. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. Gotta feel like shit. Just rest now. You've been through a lot. We'll get someone to take you somewhere safe. In the meantime, I'll look for your files after I found my friend. They sound important. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Well then, all right. It's obvious, isn't it? We should work together. We're going after Mary Kelly too. It'd be stupid to pass on some help. I should have... All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And... Thank you. For your help. I'm glad we're getting this there's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Oh. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. And ripping the organs from their bodies. Certainly without consent. What kind of monster is Mary Kelly? Oh, Jesus Christ, what happened to them? They're unrecognizable. Can you do a facial recognition, Bags? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a DedSec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in Zero Day? Smell, man. I'm never having porky. You shut your door. <laughs> shut the hell's that sound? Bad enough to run disposal. I don't need to hear that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's that coming from? I'm in real trouble. <laughs> The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. <laughs> no kidding.
DeadSec? Caitlin Lau here. I, uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now. Or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Ah, oh, fuck. I spent my whole life avoiding the feds. And now I'm working with one of them. But desperate times, innit? Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bugley, we all need to discuss these files and what to do next. Call everyone in to meet. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good out these days, isn't it, love? <laughs> Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But 
There is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Yeah, but you were wrong. What can guarantee us that this time will be different? That we're not wasting our time building a case? The police force is rotten, especially with Albion in charge now. Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. Is that a combat drone? Shit! Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open.
Security here is state of the art, quite impenetrable. Oh, unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. devices in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the shit? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. See what kind of recording we've got on her. Look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating. So we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC. And the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team, tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. The woman is a mind fucker. Oh shit! Do you know how close you got to having one of those microchips inside of you? That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that.
state of you. Look what you've done to yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the doll. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You walk. I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. Fuck's sake. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. That's the microchip in action. You either live as a slave or die with your organs up for sale. But I don't know which one's worse. DedSec, we'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? I am back to talk to me. Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? Guess we've got some ways of going about this then. I've marked both on your optic. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. 
Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Timing's a bit too convenient, if you know what I mean. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. London, this is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. Found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are Zero Day. Only one way to find out. I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. Dropping the location of the hub on your map. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. The demands of being a DedSec operative are all-consuming, so taking app gigs is a good way to make some extra quid that works around your new schedule. Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care, and some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha! Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. the CTOS up there.
If you are listening to this, it means you want to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has other secrets too. More will be revealed there. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward? you must have reached 20 Fenchurch Street. The Walkie Talkie Club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. You have arrived at the Walkie Talkie Club, where those with more money than sense come to lose both. The Walkie Talkie Club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites. And the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect blackmail on TV. Find that AI, and let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to hide.
I've done some digging and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. BrokerTech? They're one of the biggest software companies on the planet. Always keep their noses clean too. If they're buying blackmail material from the Kellys, that's big news. Everything the AI is collecting here is being sent directly to BrokerTech HQ. We have to go there to get the data. Lead innovators in software and AI technology, founded by its CEO Sky Larson when she was just 25. Talk about an overachiever. There's got to be so much blackmail stuff in there. That shit's got no power if it's just out in the open. I believe that's exactly what our 404 friend has in mind. All right, I got this. someone lurking. We can end this right now. Searching the area, nothing so far. Do the dishes, clean the sink, loads of cleaning.
all the blackmail data and... Dear God, people are disgusting. I wonder how this family values politician will appreciate his S&M sessions on public display. Oh well, let's find out. Blackmail data is hereby leaked. Brilliant. I won't say no to a little crypto. I'd say it's a thankless job, but someone just sent us a video link named thankyou.mp4, so at least it's a one thank job. Show me. You have completed your first contract with 404, the dark web's first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. I am in the network. I give the contracts. That's all you need to know about me. I'm nobody. I'm now. Also connected to your optic now. So, let's see who you are. Hey, she seems a bit eager, does she? Bags? Who was that, exactly? I've run Nout's name and face through the usual databases and turned up nothing. Oh, Nout. Right. Just got that. The girl runs a crypto for assault network, and you lot want to link up with her. That's fair mad. Worth the risk, in my opinion. She seems like a real dead sec fan, and I'd certainly rather have her as a friend than an enemy. If she isn't with Zero Day, she might know who is. And if she is with Zero Day, it's probably a trap. Either way, we'll have new information. Absolutely. Let's do it. Balaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. About time we formally introduced ourselves, I'd say. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. My guy is proper paranoid, isn't it? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. All right, I got it. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Hey, what do you think about sneaking through those windows up top? It's a classic move. Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. I hope you're not doing anything important. You've been activated. You got it. You were right. We've got traps all over the place. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Ah, uh, cool. I'm all over it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boom on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be 
most of the way through it are working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, bruv. It's cool. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Nah, bruv. Think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Go on. Kill me. Fact is, Albion knows you're in London, and you're fucked. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. No fucking shit, man. Why do you think I'm here right now, huh? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Look, get it straight, you twat. I want your help, and we want to get back at Cass too. He did all them bombings, and he came for us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is, and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying shit. about that part. Fuck, think, think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Fuck! Don't 
just stand there. Albion won't give up me about the best shit. Fucking fuck! Excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. You're in. Now find the thing. He thought I was trespassing. <laughs> I set him straight. Right. Now, about that message I sent you. I might have been a little uh, overexcited. Uh, oh, shut up! I've been investigating a massive contract. Too massive for the plebs you use 404. This contract is different. Dangerous. Who is it? I will tell you. But first, I have to trust you. And you have to trust me, you know? So. I'm going to send you another 404 contract. Let's just get to know each other a little better. Look, I don't know you. What's your agenda? What makes your target so bad? Oh, there you go. Asking the right questions. Trust me. I do my research. I know every contract inside out, and they're all part of the problem. London, the world, will be much better off with our help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to move this twat before he gets his strength back. 
Laters. Not a trap. Sounds like we have a potential partnership with this mean, aggressive mystery woman. Give it a think and we'll discuss once you're out of Somerset House. Ah, bless, bro. Ah, the fuck do I do? She's interesting. A little off the deep end. Probably not with Zero Day, I think. She's not afraid to get her hands dirty. I like that. Let's see where this goes, yeah? If you decide to become gig economy hacktivists, then I'll support you, because I literally have no choice. Got a potential recruit? Come on, let's do this! tell you about your contract. The Nexus Tower holds a quantum computer used by Albion. It simulates civilian response to large-scale events. Mass arrests, deportations, bombings. So Albion's using a computer to see what type of evil shit they can pull? It's a minging piece of work. Destroy the quantum computer. That's the contract. Lockdown from the side of us. 
much. You're a natural. Next step is to wait for now to get back to us. But don't wait here. That would be a shit idea. Totally dead good. Glad to establish a foundation of trust. I'm ready to show you the contract I'm investigating. Go to the GBB. You shouldn't have any trouble finding her. I'm born ready. Before the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for it? Yo, what I got, fam? You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yo, since when do we answer to you? Cass got some big meeting about his new project. This whole city's gonna be fucked if we don't stop him. Do you get that? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Ping me with their personal info. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Yo, how the fuck are we gonna recruit us a PMC? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. 
If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. What's her deal, Bax? Looks like she's a marked woman. Clan Kelly put a bounty on her head. Why? She's an underground bare-knuckle boxer. A rather good one, too. She managed to take down a mob-backed favorite in her last match. Now they're sending out an enforcer to make sure she never wins again. Man, that's bullshit. If mob wants to win, they have to fight better. Bax, let's find that enforcer. Already done. The enforcer we're after is here, currently enforcing some poor bastard's head into the pavement. If you take them out, our boxer friend may live to fight another day. For sure. Fuck, you know, we're basically superheroes, bruv. Don't break out the tiny party hats just yet. We might have bought our boxers some time, but once Clan Kelly finds out what happened, they'll almost certainly want revenge. Suggest you warn her. I'm on the move. Want to hurry? I'm detecting some Clan Kelly movement in the area. Self-driving. Self Hope everyone's all right. You seem nervous. Yo, boss. You're in big trouble. What do you mean? You beat Clan Kelly's thug in the ring, right? And they want revenge. We dropped one of them fuckers, but they're gonna keep coming. Good thing I'm so great at kicking asses. Nah, there's too many for you to take on by yourself. Find somewhere to hide and we'll keep them busy as long as we can. Sure thing, whoever you are. 
I owe you one. Thank you. Enemies incoming. That does it. Get somewhere safe so we can contact our fighter. You're at blood. I'm all right. Jesus, the Kellys really have taken over. Does anybody fight fair and square anymore? Why don't you join DedSec? You know you wanna. Hell yes, I'm in. GBB, once considered the world's greatest public broadcaster, now considered, quote, quite shit. This is where you'll find out's big contract. You'll get bounced to the door for sure, but GBB has an access point on the roof. Should let you peek in. you are is in your brain your love your fear your dreams even the cheeky ones are all electrical signals firing back and forth between your ears this right here is more powerful than any computer but it has its limitations I watched my mother succumb to motor neuron disease and her loss made me realize that death comes to us all but what if we could change that? What if 
We could scan your brain and upload the neural map to the cloud. Well, that would mean the end of human suffering, of death itself, and the beginning of a new society where war, oppression, disease are all worries of the past. Hello, my name is Sky Larson. I'm CEO of BrokerTech, and this is Daybreak. Now, since all of you have signed up for our waitlist, I'm sure you're eager to see how Daybreak really works. But before we do that, I'll ask the technicians at the board to cut the live feed. We wouldn't want any uninvited guests recording these trade secrets. Daybreak is an imaging system which scans the... There you have it, DeadSec. The big contract. You want to bring down Sky Larson? Oh, I want to do more than that. Problem is, Larson hasn't been seen in public in nearly two years. And he can't kill a hologram. I've been trying to track her down. I found a home here in London, but that, well. But Sky Larson revolutionized AI. She automated most of the city and created our man Bagley. Is she collecting data on us? What's she up to? Plenty. But you need to see for yourself. A mansion's in Westminster. Things you'll see in there. She disconnected. Ah, oh, sick! Good to have you, blood. That sex's gonna be unstoppable now. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Fuck yes. Huh? Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. Oh my god, what is this thing? Hey, I found Sky's... No, wait. The property here is owned by someone called Sky LaFantano. No E. What are the odds? This house does not belong to Sky Larson. But why do you suppose they leave their front gate open? None of these buildings are owned by Sky Larson. Incidentally, reading through property records and cross-referencing names is a real bore. And it only takes me three seconds. Sky Larson's residence is nearby. Let's see what I can find. That house. 
house right next to you. It's owned by a champion darts player. That's the most interesting fact about these houses. Well, this building has a not at all suspicious profile. The property is owned by Kakani Medical, but there are records of basement digging paid for by Brokertech. I believe you just found Sky Larson's London residence, famously vacated two years ago after Larson stopped making public appearances. I'd say a nice neighborly wellness check is about due, wouldn't you?
Welcome home, Sky Larson. I am pleased you have returned after a prolonged absence. Uh, don't question it, mate. Elevator locked. Perhaps some music as you get comfortable. What would you like to listen to? Uh, whatever's popular. Apologies, Sky. I'm afraid I had to dispose of your perishables. Would you like me to place an order for meal delivery? Not right now, thanks. Sky, you have not worked. I can contact the Broker Tech Service Center if you are dissatisfied with house operations. Key activated. Elevator unlocked. Basement lab accessible. Welcome to your lab. Please tell me you guys are seeing this too. You're too far underground to get a signal, so it looks like it's up to you to collect whatever intel you can. It's like those Russian dolls. One smaller house inside another. Front door locked. Key activation required. Damn. Perhaps you would enjoy a stroll around the garden sky. I've reconstructed some past experiments you might like to revisit. I hope they may enhance your experience. Well, it certainly didn't take long for us to find a dead body. Sky Last is a pet person. Who would have guessed? Data reconstruction in progress. Someone's left a key code on the wristband. Perhaps that code will unlock the front door. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. The neural mapping procedure is completely safe. What is wrong with you? I said no, and that is final. I've been to the garage. I've seen what you did to Ada. Ada is alive and well. You call that alive? Sky, where do you get your twisted ideas? I will not become another of your sick creations. Sick? You think I'm sick? How do you think I became that way, Mother? Sky, you listen to me. This is not your decision. I forbid it. And I am still your mother. Apologies, Sky. I'm afraid I have to of your perishables. Would you like me to... Could you repeat that, please? Oh, apologies, this guy. <laughs> Specimen name, Ada. Species, order call. Neural uploads, are alive and well. Oh, God, that poor puppy. How could Sky even think of doing that to a living creature? There, there, good girl. Perhaps you would like to go upstairs. Many memories. Upstairs. Where's the code for this door? CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. No. 
drugs. Perhaps you'd like to go downstairs with the others. Perhaps you'd like to join the others. It's all under control. I'm here, your home. This isn't my home. This is... Would you like to take a nap? I can adjust the lights accordingly. Anyway. Sky's bedroom. Doesn't look all that different from my room growing up. That... ...disturbs me. Another of your sick creations. Wow, what is this? Wow, this tech is so cool. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Mapping procedure ended at 1327. Subject passed away at 1329. That is a two minute post scan deterioration, which is a significant improvement on the early days. Sky last. Now enter my lucky. room. Subject ready for neural deletion. Day one of the neural deletion procedure. Subject is one, Sinead Larson. Activating now. Sky, where am I? I can't see. Subject's lucidity confirms what I can see on the code. The neural map is intact and fully functioning. Subject? We'll begin deleting lines of code now. How? <laughs> oh my god. You disobeyed me. That's enough, mother. Sweetheart, please, please, don't do this to your own mom. Let me die in peace. You never believed in me, Mother. But you'll believe now. Day two. Motor strip is completely unnecessary. Control, A, delete. I feel ill. Day 12. <laughs> <laughs> Preserve the limbic code for now. The emotional response is fascinating. Please. Day 20. Moving on to the frontal lobe. My new security system won't have any need to think for itself. Sky, please. If you only knew the pain. Temporal code. Diminished language function. Day 29, finally, we will delete the limbic code. How can I be of service, Sky? Turn the light on and off. Very good. Play some music. You know what I like. Lovely. I think this new arrangement will work quite nicely. What do you think? That's sick! How could she do this to her own mum? It explains her process. She takes a fully modelled human mind and then chops bits off it until she... You never thought I was Sky, did you? You just wanted someone to know what she did to you. Yes. Welcome. I don't know. You. I can't see. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm trying to find Sky. 
Can you help me? Yes. I need your help. I don't want to live like this. Sky is twisted. If you only knew the pain. Oh, I think I understand what you're suggesting. You'll help me find Sky if I promise to kill you. Yes. Let me die in peace. How? I've received the coordinates and a message that simply says thank you. Now, can we please get out of here? Dead sec, you there? Nout? I'm upstairs. Come on up when you're ready. I'd find, didn't you? Yeah. Her mother begged me to... I just couldn't. So now you see what's at stake. Daybreak is about to launch, and if it does, thousands more people are gonna meet the same fate, and they won't all die. Sky will be free to torture them forever. We can find her. Her mother gave me Sky's coordinates. She did? Oh, she's meant! So what do you say, are we in this? We'll get her. You watch our backs. Dead good. The mission we retroactively named Operation Let's All Traumatize Ourselves in Sky Larson's Fun Dungeon was a complete success, and I've just decoded her secret hiding place. Let's get to it then. And right on cue, we just got a video message from Sky Larson. Let's see it. I don't know who the hell you think you are, or what you think you saw in my home, but I'm warning you stay away. I've given my life to Daybreak, and I'm not going to let some nobody take it away from me. I will track you down, and I will make your life very, very difficult. Because I can afford it. Can you? How did you find us? Sky Larson built an iceberg smart mansion run by her digitally lobotomized mother, but this is the part you can't believe. Maybe her mother deserved it. I know mine does. She's scared. There's no other reason for her to threaten us. She bloody well should be. Send me her location. Can What's her story, Bags? Albion's been following her around like an amorous teenager who thinks that persistence is a replacement for personality. They're raiding all the locations in her recent GPS history. That sounds like a job for DedSec. Got it. I've tracked down an officer who was at the most recent raid. You can scrape their optic for intel. interrupt you while you're busy resisting, but I thought you might want to know that one of your operatives just got grabbed off the street and shoved into an unmarked van. Oh, crap. Lucky for you, I was able to track down a likely suspect in the few seconds it took you to formulate that angry grunt. She's an avowed enemy of DedSec with a personal grudge against us. Finding her should lead us to our operative. Okay, I'm on it.
You have arrived at your destination, Bloom Complex. All this time she's been holed up in Bloom. Ever since Larson sold, well, me, to Bloom, she's maintained close ties with the company. This just gets better and better. Finding Sky here will be next to impossible. Maybe there's server data that can narrow down her location. Okay, I'm on it. Go on then, you little bugger. Open. Weapons ready.
quite excited to share this with you, the board of directors. The facility will be an extension of my quantum computing lab and will house certain other endeavors that I prefer not to share during this presentation. This is valuable real estate you have under your feet. It's as if you've been waiting for me to put it to good use. What's this thing Larson's got with secret underground facilities, I swear? Find that elevator and go spelunking, will ya? I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. this.
Check neural upload status. 90%, not good enough. Load processor temperature. Holy shit, she's uploading herself! Jesus fuck, she's a few minutes away from immortality. If you don't kill her upload, we'll have no way of stopping her or Daybreak. Uncovered a gold mine of data here. I'll harvest whatever I can while you save the world. Guys, ideas? The neural upload is being routed through the quantum computers in this lab. Hacking them would stop the psychopath from becoming an AI augmented superintelligence, but no pressure or anything. Corbett's disentangling connections rerouted. This isn't an accident. You should have stayed away. You are making the biggest mistake of your life, and you will pay dearly Stop for it. Please, before it's too late. Restart upload. Come on, restart upload. Security to the quantum lab. Security to the quantum lab. Code red. Listen to me. 
What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important experiment. It may not be Look around, but corruption is the future. Nuclear war. Humanity is doomed to self-destruction, but Daybreak can change that. Help me bring about the next stage of human evolution. We can save lives. We can ascend. Sec, are you seeing all this? She's dying. You brought a friend. Everyone you killed and tortured. All of that was to save your sorry life. You're pathetic. This isn't about me. With our minds in the cloud, humanity can endure any natural disaster. We can be safe, free, and happy forever. I don't give a shit about humanity. You're a psycho brat who wants what she wants, and fuck everyone else, including your mother. You still have time to make things right. Reactivate my upload. Let me live so I can continue my work. Mate, you can't believe a single thing she says. Now shut down her life support and finish this. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Yes. Do what's right. Please. Don't. Please. Don't do this to me. Nothing left to do now but take a few selfies with the corpse. Quickly, though. Security's on the way. Be careful. Larson's dead. It's over. Thank f fuck. One less liar in the world. Still, though, I can't help but think of those AI she created. Lobotomized, enslaved, shit. There's still a lot of work left. You up for doing that together? Don't get soft on me now. This was a professional arrangement. Let's keep it that way. Laters.
Hello. Oh, 